Top 10 Famous Foreign Travel Vlogger Who Love the Philippines We Filipinos are known for our hospitality. We see why again in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. The deadly virus has forced airlines to cancel flights, airports to shut down, and countries to close borders. Many tourists have found themselves stuck for months on foreign soil. This video brought to you by Top 10 Best Facts channel, that will showcase all the best among the best, and facts about all the amazing, unique, and talented individuals on their chosen field and the best of everything the world can offer. These foreigners have fallen in love with the beauty of the Philippines and the warmth of Filipinos. Aside from migrating to the country, these online content creators are also sharing the wonders that the Philippines has to offer by vlogging their adventures on YouTube. This video is done on the latest research during the 2020 pandemic. Get to know these 10 famous foreign vloggers living in the Philippines. During the pandemic they made a noise and captured the heart of every Filipinos in YouTube and Facebook and making the Philippines is their second home. 1. The Hungry Syrian Wanderer, Basil Manadil also known as the Hungry Syrian Wanderer, is a Syrian vlogger and content creator, noted for his positive views on the Philippines and work to provide aid to victims of natural disasters. His parents moved to Lebanon along with his sister and their dog, while he fled to the Philippines alone. He studied computer engineering in University of Perpetual Help where he graduated. On December 21, 2016, he started his own YouTube channel where he drew attention in July 2019 for a videos he released that praised the Philippines and its economy. Due to his popularity and his positive views on the country, Manadil has been dubbed the adopted son of the Philippines. He is known for his videos on his efforts to provide relief for victims of natural disasters, such as donating 1,000 blankets to victims of the 2019 Cotabato earthquakes or cooking cabsa and other foods for people affected by the 2020 Tal volcano eruption. Manadil owns a diner in Las Pinas, named the Yolo Retro Diner. 2. Kyle Jenneman, Canadian YouTube star who is widely known for his self-titled channel. He has gained popularity there for his Becoming Filipino Lifestyle web docu-series, where he has gained popularity for vlogging about his experience living in Filipino culture. He began his YouTube channel in December 2006. He first traveled to the Philippines in 2013. Known more fondly by his YouTube channel name Becoming Filipino, Kyle is a Canadian travel blogger who experienced an unexpected level of fame after starting his account. After sharing a documentary-style blog, highlighting the positive experience he had in the Philippines. Since his channel Becoming Filipino came into the limelight, Kyle has done very well in his career and has earned a number of awards. His videos range from visiting hotspot tourist destinations, as well as explaining some of the lesser-traveled areas. Kyle also tries local dishes and street food in entertaining vlogs. His videos provide insight into the lives of the locals, as well as all the things tourists can do during their visit. 3. Travel vloggers Mike Holashka and Nelly Awanik are popularly known on the vlogosphere as the duo behind Making It Happen. With their mutual love for travel, the Austrian couple met via a local social media platform back home. They fell in love, and made it their mission to travel the world together. Drive south of Metro Manila and you'll find a bounty of Mother Nature's gift to our country. Drive north and catch a calm sunrise on top of a mountain or witness a beautiful sunset after a good surf. Explore any part of the Philippines, marvel at the natural wonders, talk to the locals, and sample Filipino dishes. It's easy to fall in love more with the beauty of this country. For many Filipinos, it's a surrounding we'll never get tired of looking at. For many foreigners, seeing its beauty and experiencing what it has to offer make them want to come back for more, for some, they found enough reasons to even stay here for good. They've been documenting their adventures since, flying to nearby countries until they eventually decided to go farther and head to Southeast Asia two years ago. During the planning stage for their Southeast Asia trip, the two were looking for inspiration online, discovered Palawan, and saw the beautiful beaches. They are panning their dram wedding in the Philippines. 4. British vloggers Lucy D'Agostino and George Warrington of the Juicy Vlog on why they fell in love with the Philippines. 
It's easy to feel patriotic when June 12, the Philippine Independence Day comes around. It's another story to be head over heels in love with your country all throughout the year. While Filipinos are known to be some of the most resilient people in the world, we can't deny the fact that life gets to us sometimes, and we end up, well, tired of the daily grind and oblivious to the beauty that surrounds us. Is it because of their awesome camera skills? Their amusing banter on cam? Their quirky personalities? Or is it just plain awesome seeing our very own country through the eyes of non-Filipinos? Maybe it's a mixture of all of these things, but one thing's for sure. Watching these people gives us some sort of a sweet escape in our very own country. We know our country is beautiful, but we need to be reminded of it most of the time. Meet Lucy D'Agostino and George Warrington of the Juicy Vlog, two Brighton-born British YouTube vloggers who have traveled far and wide, but have fallen in love with our country and continue to come back again and again. 5. Icelander travel vlogger Finn Snow explored over 100 Philippine destinations in just one year. Finn Snow might have been born in the land of ice and fire, but he'll tell you that home is where the heart is. And for this backpacker turned professional travel blogger, his heart, and now his home, lies right here in the Philippines and in its 7,107 islands, hundreds and hundreds of which he has dedicated his life to exploring and sharing with the rest of the world. The Philippines chose me, Finn begins with a smile. It's an opening statement that paves the way for the story that everyone wants to hear. Finn was but a wee little boy who was told by his mother, an avid traveler herself, that he had learned to swim before he walked and mastered skiing before he did running. The minute that Finn stepped foot on Philippine soil, what ensued can only be described as the work of destiny. That brings us to today, less than a year since Finn officially called the Philippines his real home, and Iceland his second. 6. American photographer Carson Moody, Basayang Hilor on YouTube, first came to the Philippines in 2012 as a missionary where he learned how to speak Basaya. An American finds his home in the Philippines. A foreigner falling in love with the Philippines is no longer surprising. The most common reasons why they do include our trademark hospitality, exciting cuisine, one-of-a-kind island adventures and, for many who come from the West, our hot and humid weather. Carson Moody, also known by the names Kaloy and Basayang Hilor, made the Philippines home after falling in love with its people, culture and languages. Moody, who is originally from Utah, first came to the Philippines in 2012 and served in a church mission until 2014. It was during this time when he became fluent in Basaya and nurtured a deeper appreciation for the country as he learned about its history and experienced its culture firsthand. When he went back home to finish his studies, Moody actually found himself looking for opportunities to travel back to the Philippines and maybe even move out to this part of the world for good. He regularly vlogs about his travels in the Philippines which garners millions of views online. Carson is also currently in a relationship with Filipino-Australian model Zoe Palaya. 7. American traveler Dustin Borglin started the channel Dustin Backpacks where he documents his adventures around the world. When the lockdown happened last March 2020, Dustin was left stranded in Cebu where he was adopted by his friends Raymond and Resh. They may not be Filipinos but these vloggers have the Pusong Pinoy, which has endeared their Filipino subscribers. Stranded American backpacker is adopted by family in remote village. Dustin was in a different town of Cebu when the lockdown was announced, and could not return to his hotel in Toledo City, where he was supposed to stay for only for a week. But Baladoy, the patriarch, is always making improvements. He's a hard-working guy. The videos have put the spotlight on the simple joys of provincial life. The other side of the coin is that it also highlights the daily struggles faced by people residing in a remote area of the country. 8. The Ahern family is composed of American vlogger Brian Ahern, his Filipina wife Jodelyn, and their five kids Erica, Kathleen, Michael, Josephine, and Braden. This one big and happy family is based in Bohol. In their vlogs, they often feature the many different sites and activities found in the beautiful island province. They also let their subscribers see what goes on in their family life. 
Brian Ahern da Islander moved to the Philippines to be closer to his wife, who is of Visayan descent, and to learn more about the Filipino culture. Having fully immersed himself in the Pinoy way of life back home, Brian regularly vlogs his Pinoy family life. 9. Dwayne Woolley, an Australian actor, singer, and events host in the Philippines. Australian YouTube star and musician who first became popular in 2018 when his song, Love You, recorded with his band The Foranoi Trio, went viral. He learned Filipino languages Tagalog, Visaya and Waray Waray when studying to go to the Philippines for his mission through the Latter-day Saints. YouTube journey starts way back in 2011 when he first came to the Philippines as a missionary. During his time in the island of late, he learned to speak three Filipino languages, namely Tagalog, Cebuano and Waray. He developed a love for the culture and the people of the Philippines so deep that he decided to stay. He got a full-time job in a call center and started working on creating a YouTube channel every day after work. He decided on YouTube because after doing TV for so long, then finally he wanted to be a director and scriptwriter. You can't be a jack of all trades on YouTube, you must have a niche market and accept that you can't please everybody. We decided that our niche would be love life, Filipino culture and pranks. Our videos are for Filipinos, and people who are interested in the Philippines. 10. Will Leesing Dasovich, born August 26, 1991, is a Filipino-American television personality, model, and vlogger. He is known for his vlogs on YouTube. Will Dasovich is now cancer-free. After six months of well-documented battle with stage 3 colon cancer, 26-year-old vlogger and celebrity Will Dasovich is finally cancer-free. In a YouTube video uploaded on his channel last February 2nd, US time, life determined by a phone call, emotional. Will chronicled the moment he received the phone call which revealed the results of the pathology analysis that would determine the presence of the remaining cancer cells in his body, or if his body has completely gotten rid of the disease. The said video also showed his milestones as an awarded online content creator, notable commercial model, and occasional actor before his diagnosis. Will first fell on the audience's radar in 2013. His globetrotting adventures, as documented on his YouTube vlogs, gained him an international audience. Having Filipino blood from his maternal side, Will eventually decided to be based in Manila, Philippines, wherein his vlogs started focusing on the Filipino culture. Will has been very transparent about his struggles, sharing to his YouTube subscribers his chemotherapy sessions and hospitalization. A natural optimist, Will has continued to share his adventures, and has even taken a role in the film Sha Gao, despite his illness. You have stayed until the end this video, here is a bonus for you, Mana Okada, a Japanese YouTube star who primarily posts familial videos to her Zion Mana channel. She has accrued over 340,000 subscribers to her channel. She initially posted a video to her YouTube channel in November 2014. Her Instagram was deactivated. She posted a photo of her daughter to her Instagram account in May 2018. She shares a birthday with fellow YouTuber Tyler Oakley. Social media star who has gained popularity for her 123JAPAN YouTube channel where she posts vlogs, challenges, and Japanese-related content. You can feel at home even if you're not in your own country, just like these foreign travel vloggers who fell in love with the Philippines during their constant vacations. They have traveled far to explore the beauty of the Philippines and fulfill their wanderlust desires. Travel vloggers are people who takes and post videos of their travels while inspiring others to see different places in the world, it can either be done professionally or by passion. There are so many videos of travel bloggers, who have been in and out of the Philippines and continues to testify their love for the country. Do you know any other foreign travel vlogger that is not featured here? Put your comment down below for more entertaining videos. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, see you on my next videos, Mabuhai.